Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. So today guys, we are gonna start um, putting back together Mark's gold, uh, or his WAFs, <laughs> um, EcoSport. Got it back from the paint shop. I'll show you what they've done um, and we'll have a walk around it and stuff like that. Um, we'll get cracking. Don't know if we're gonna be able to, I'm still waiting for parts for that car. I'll get into it. Uh, in a minute and i'll let you know what i'm waiting for but um yeah i don't think we're going to be able to completely finish what i wanted to do today because yeah just waiting for parts um yeah so we'll probably jump on something else as well i'm going to explain this as well because the body shop guy did turn up yesterday um i will tell you exactly what he told me um before we get mark's car in so yeah, but it's gonna be a really hot day today, really mega hot uh, all over the UK, but especially close to London uh, and Essex where I am. So yeah, let's just see what it's like working in this because it's like a greenhouse at the minute because obviously you've got a metal roof and it's just like, pff, the heat is just incredibly, but it's only supposed to be like for a couple of days and then next week it's supposed to cool down and get better. So yeah can't complain too much so let's get cracking guys with today's video let's do this yeah so let me explain exactly what he said to me the body shop guy come over yesterday he had a good look around it and i mean he had a look underneath it he was looking all around it inside all over it um and basically what he's saying is he's saying he, he reckons he's i've probably got it out about 96, 7%, he reckons. Um, this is his words. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Um, it just, he said, it just needs a, a little bit more playing around with, he said. But he said, you've done all right. He said, you, you, you know, you, you got it out well. Um, and he said, that the other thing as well is that without actually <sighs> replacing the complete back panel, You'll never get it perfect because it's been, you know, it's metal and it's it, you, you're, you're trying to m manipulate metal and move it around uh, back into its original position. And it just, he said, it just takes a lot of time to to get it back in. You can eventually get it back into its original position, but it's, it, he said, it just takes so much time. He said, and that's why sometimes it's quicker just to take the back panel off and replace, um, drill out all the welds and then replace the whole, we've done it before on Fiestas and bits and pieces, you know, you, you, I've showed you this before. Um, and you know, he's more or less correct. He said, but he said, you've got, you've got a lot of it out. He said, you actually majority of it out. Um, he's checked the crash bar. He said that hasn't been moved. Um, he checked the chassis rails. He said that hasn't, that hasn't moved. He said, and then he said, like, once you sort of get it all lined up and get the bonnet, the boot lined up and, and, and stuff like that, he said, he reckons, he said, it's good enough to leave. Um, but just a little bit, he said, just do a little bit more and it just tap these bits in, uh, tidy this up, simply straighten that up a little bit. He said, but it doesn't really matter. You've got most of it out. It's all out, he said. Um, and then so he said, as long as you put some seam sealer across the bits and pieces like this bit here, Put some seam sealer across here, um, and then like undercoat, and then some base coat, some spray. Just just spray it all up. He said, protect it. Um, he reckons it's good enough to sort of, yeah, just leave. He said, as long as the bumper lines up, and the panel lines up, and the light lines up, and and the and the boot, the tailgate lines up with the light. As long as that all lines up, he's saying, he's saying, yeah, he's saying you you've done well there. He said, without a, without a rig dozer. Or anything like that, and you, I showed him what I used yesterday, um, and he did say he's going to watch the video as well. Um, he said, uh, you know, from what I've used, I've done really, really well with it. So, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's like he's telling me, like it's, it's his business. He, that's what this is what he does, um, and he's telling me uh, if I if I send it to him, it, he won't be doing. He could he can't make it a lot lot better than what i've already done it and it's going to cost it's going to cost me money for him to to work on it so it's nice of him to say that he's, he's a nice guy and he will tell me the truth and you know we've got a good relationship now i've sent more i've sent loads and loads of cars to him we've got a good working relationship um 
And he said, yeah. He said, really, you'd just be sort of giving me, giving me money for nothing because you can't do much with it, much more. So that's, that's good news, actually. I, I, was quite, uh, I was quite shocked when he said that. Um, but interesting to sort of still hear his opinion um, on what, uh, what it's like, you know. But it just shows you, like he said, if you don't know, if you don't try it, you don't know. If you don't give things a go, you'll never know. So, yeah, I think we're going to leave it like that, I think. Um, but we need to get this out of the way. I don't want to work on this today. I'm going to bring Mark's um, EcoSport. We're going to bring that in. We're going to work on that car today. Uh, see how far we get. Um, like I said, to you, I am waiting for parts. I'll get into that in a second. But let's get this out of the way for the minute. Let's get Mark's car in. Um, and then we'll have a look at that from the paint shop. Um, and we'll have a look at that, that as well. So, yeah, let's do this. Right, okay. So, guys, we have got Mark... Um, Mark's wife's car, his eco, her eco sport, um, in the workshop, um, and it's been back from the paint shop. So you can see that bumper has been painted, as well as the front repair as well, been done on the bonnet, and you can see it looks absolutely spot on, perfect. Now, can't even see it, can you? It's really, really good. So yeah, really happy with that. But what I'm not happy with. And I've got to be honest and truthful, and I'm always like that. I'm not happy with the actual shade of this colour. Um, I think it's a very slight shade off. You can see, like, it's just a little bit too light compared to this. This is a little bit darker than this. Um, he has done the wing, and he's done the bonnet, and he's done the, the bumper. Um, <clears throat> but... I can see that. I don't know if you can see that on camera. I think it's coming out well. You can see it, can't you? It's just it's it's just too light. So yeah, unfortunately, this has got to go back to the paint shop um, because this is a this this is Mark's car. This is his wife's car. It's the customer's car. Even if it was my own car and one of my own projects, it would be going back to the paint shop. <laughs> Because it's got to be right, you know. It's got to be right. It's it's only a few years old. Um, it's got to be looking good. There's no point. I know, like some like like plastic bumpers, they do sort of yeah, they do look a bit uh, f uh, like different colourish on the back and the front sometimes, even with brand new cars. But I I've I've looked on the rear. Um, now this one, it should be a pretty good match. So I'm looking at this plastic one here. Um, it's it's an odd one to show on camera, but it's pr it's, it's it's pretty bang on. I've got to be honest. So yeah, um, just one of them things. I'm not happy with it, um, and there's just no way I'm going to be able to get this finished and give it to Mark and go. There you go. I'm done, and I know that that shade is very, only slightly, but it's very slightly off. Um, don't forget, guys, I always supply the, the paint to the painter, and he, he uses what I give him. So two things have happened here. Number one, it could be that they've mixed the paint wrong slightly, because I took it from this fuel flap. Um, so they've... They may have mixed it wrong very slightly. You can see, actually, on the bump of this side, you can see it very slightly different, can't you? Look, it's darker, this one, is it, this one. It's a, it's a really hard colour to match, really hard colour. Um, so, yeah, I gave them that fuel flap to match the colour, as I always do. Um, so that that's, could be the reason. Uh, or it could be that he's used, because he, he thins out the paint, he kind of doubles it. Our painter does. Um, he may have used too much, or he should have just not thinned it out. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not 100 sure what has gone wrong here. So, but whatever happens, it's got to be done. It's got to be done again. Um, so, it's just yeah. Unfortunately, I'm still waiting for parts for this bumper. I've got to be honest. So, you know, I, I've, I've got a. 
wait anyway for the trims and the plastics to turn up for the bumper. Um, and he's taking this back in. I've already caught off. I've, I, it's been sit, what basically what happened was it's been sitting outside. Um, and I thought it actually looked quite good at, fir at first in the sunshine, <laughs> in the daylight. But when I brought it in here, and, I start, and, I, and then I put the bumper on, because I've not put the bumper on in place yet to see what it actually is like. Um, it's just not. It's just not good enough, unfortunately. Um, and then he's taking it. The painter's going to bring it. He said, "He said bring it back to him tomorrow morning. He'll do it tomorrow." Um, so it'll be a quick turnaround for me. He said he's going to sort of just juggle things about and sort of fit it back in because we need the car back. Um, it's just, yeah, it's a real shame, but it's one of them things. You have to get it done, deal with it, move on, um, and get it sorted. Um, it don't look too bad here, but uh, mind you, it's, you can see it slightly still, can't you? It's such an hard colour, really hard colour to match. Um, it's just, it's a really hard colour to match. Um, yeah. That's it. Unfortunately, it's got to go back to the paint shop. There's no point doing anything to the car. There's no point putting any pieces in. There's no, there's no point doing none of that because it just, yeah, it's just slightly off. <laughs> right, okay. Well, that's just literally, literally just threw a spanner in the works. Um, but we have got the Citroen C1 we could bring in. Yes, let's get this outside. Let's bring the Citroen C1 in. He has painted that one as well with the bonnet and bumper. And I hope that one is right. So, yeah. To be continued with this EcoSport. Um, hopefully, sort of, well, tomorrow's Thursday. So, he might get it back to me Friday. Hopefully. And then we could do this Friday. Um, yeah. Sorry, Mark. I know you're watching, buddy. But it just, I'm not happy unfortunately so yeah it's got to go back right let's get this out let's get the, C the citroen c1 in um and we'll have a go at that one see if that's any good <laughs> right okay so here we go we've got now got the citroen c1 in the workshop instead of um yeah mark's eco sport that's going to the paint shop tomorrow um now i've already checked this as soon as I bought it in, I checked it straight away, put the bumper up in place, and it is a pretty good match. It's very slight, but you can't really you can't really tell. So I'm happy with this one. We can definitely put this back together. Um, so yeah, first thing we've got to do is take all the bits and pieces out of the old bumper, which is over here. Strip all that down. Get all the grills out. Um, I've took that light off, that light out already. That's up there. Yep, it's up there. Um, yeah, and basically just stick all that into the new bumper, bonnet on, um, and then just you know just rebuild the whole front end. Put the bumper on, put the bonnet on, do everything back up. Um, we've got a wheel arch missing. We've got to put that on. I think that's over. In that pile there, I believe, I think. Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Let's uh, um, let's do this one. Um, finally, we can do something today. Christ. I'll set you up. Let's get cracking. Um, and let's get this back together. Let's do this.
Right, okay, so, whew, guys, I tell you what, it is hard, hard, hard work working in this heat, in this workshop, I tell you, it, it is seriously, whew, it's got to be the hottest day of the year, it has to be, because I'm really, really struggling, I've drunk so many bowls of water to try and keep uh, hydrated, um, because I'm really dehydrated at the minute. It's the, getting these, getting getting that trim and that panel in on this pumper was so tough, and it made it's just it's amplified hundred times because of the heat. Um, I should have done that within like a couple, ten minutes, but it just took me for ages to get it in. Um, never mind, I've just got to deal with it. Right, we are definitely getting there. Now, um, yeah, like I said to you, it's a very, very slightly out. The shade is very different, but I've checked to the rear, and the shade is <laughs> exactly the same when it comes to the bumper. To the to the, you can see it there. Look, so you can see this slightly different shade. So it's plastic bumpers all the time. But like the bonnet is absolutely spot on, um, color diff, color wise, and shade is absolutely spot on. But this bumper is just very, very slightly out, but the same as the rear, so I should um, I should be able to leave it as it is. Um, I might take it down a little bit with the buffer um, this on this side, you know, clean it up a little bit and take it down. It's all dirty, it's all dusty, it all makes a difference when it comes to the colours and shades. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's just so hot. I want to try and continue if I can. Uh, yeah, let's um, put the wheel arch on the other side. Put this one on as well. Do up all the bolts, all the trims, um, and get this back on its wheels at least. <laughs> See what we could do today. But I'll tell you what. I'm not. This is going to be a short video. I'm not. I'm not hanging around today. I'm going to get out of here. Um, but yeah, bear with me for now. Let's keep going. I'm going to go grab another bottle of water um, and then we're going to crack on. <laughs> Let's do this. Right guys, so we're all back together apart from the number plate, which is up there. Uh, I'll put that on in a little while. Um, but yeah, all the lights work, I've checked. Done the MOT checks. But um, the best thing at the minute. <laughs> oh, the air conditioning is so nice. I'll take it down so you can hear me properly, but that air conditioning Oh my God, that is so good. Just sitting in here for a minute. Um, oh, you just don't know, you just don't realize how good that feels. It's just oh, it's so hot out there. So, um, but yeah, this is giving me a little bit of a, a rest, a break. Um, and I'm gonna try and continue. Um, Right, the next thing we're going to do, I think, is we're going to do the inside. I'm not going to clean this car out there. I can't, I, there's no way I'm cleaning this car outside in that weather because it it will just it, as soon as you put the water over it, it will just dry and it will smear and it will just it it's just can't it's just impossible. So I'm going to leave the outside, but we are going to um, do a little bit of the inside cleaning. So let's I'll move the car over there. I'll set you up on the camera. Let's continue with this one. Definitely making some good progress, finally today, after looking at um, Mark's uh, Eco Sport. That didn't sort of happen, did it? And I'll go back to the paint shop tomorrow. But let's continue with this one. Um, and 
yeah, do me MOT checks, make sure everything's working, hooter must work. So that's got to work. Everything, everything's got to work. The window wipers, the washer jets, like you can see, just, ch just check, make sure everything is working correctly. Um, but yeah, so far it is looking like a nice little car for someone. Handbrake's good. So yeah, let's continue guys. I'm gonna get out there in a minute from this air conditioning because this is so nice. But give me a minute and then I'll get you set up and we'll carry on. <laughs> All right, okay. Right, okay, guys, that is it. I can't do no more. Um, the sweat is just dripping off me. It is so, so hot in here. It is unbelievable. But I managed to hoover out the inside um, of the Citroen. Um, it's good. It looks good. So, yeah, still want to do some wiping around. Still want to do a little bit more cleaning, do the door cards and you know, clean the outside. Still got to do a little bit more, but it's uh, a little bit closer <laughs> to be ready to go than it was before. Um, it's just so hot. I just, I just, that's it. I fucking, I just can't do no more. I've had enough. Oh God, it's just so hot. So hopefully um, tomorrow is going to be a better day. And um, yeah, yeah. I'm going to try and put this in for an MOT tomorrow because there's nothing stopping us apart from that number plate. Nothing stopping me from running it into the MOT and see what happens with that. Um, so, yeah, I'll let you know in tomorrow's video how that goes. But that's it, guys. That's the end of today's video and this part on the Citroen C1. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me doing this because... Um, it was really hard days were. I know I keep going on about it, but what a day has been in the heat. It's been incredible. Um, I just, yeah, I just need to get back, have some ice cream or something. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next one.